first one was um, what, 1 half x? 1 half x plus 2. Same idea, right? 1 half x plus 2. Um, again, we need to factor this out. Now, this one's a little bit more confusing because you're like, they don't both have something the same that we can divide out. But we know we have to divide it out, right? You have to have, you can't have that 1 half in front of the x. You have to have that factored out. So what we need to do is you're factoring out is kind of the same thing as like dividing out, right? When you're factoring out a number, like when you're factoring out a 2, you're basically dividing each value by 2. When you're factoring out a 1 half, you're basically dividing by 1 half. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by, yes, did you get that in your phone? Are you, type, are you, are you writing that down and you're typing that in your phone? Wow, that's really good. That's close, close, close. Probably, you, oh, you don't, you don't have paper? You need paper? Oh, you got paper, OK. Um, so you're multiplying by 2. So therefore, this is going to be x plus 4. And again, maybe it's a little faster, whatever else you're not following me. Multiply it back over. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times 4 is 8. Or I'm sorry, why do I keep it? Yeah, 1 half times 4 is 2, not 8. But you guys can see how it works. The whole goal of what I'm trying to achieve here, guys, you're not going crazy from what you previously learned. The transformations, the shifting left and right, is always the same. But it's when your x variable has a coefficient of 1. That's why if we don't have a coefficient of 1, we have to factor it out. Does that make sense? So that's my red flag. That's what's, that's what's the same for all of these problems. All of those problems do not have a coefficient of 1 for my variable. That's why I have to have them factored out. All right. So when you see that, just make sure you're aware. Everything else, you guys are still right from what we learned. Um, so now we have a horizontal stretch of 1 half. And we're doing a shift left 4. So the graph's probably going to look something like that. And therefore, we can say the domain is going to be from negative 4 to infinity. And the range is going to be from 0 to infinity. Yeah, 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 cool.